Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be another video on this amazing LG OLED TV, but in particular HGIG. Got a lot of questions about what HGIG can do to the gaming experience. And I've been flip flopping back and forth HGIG on, HGIG off, dynamic tone mapping on, dynamic tone mapping off. So this is Days Gone, which I love. You know that. In particular, I want to show you guys. The difference the picture is with HGIG on or off and dynamic tone mapping on and off. Now, I did this a few times before I make this video so to kind of show you guys what it's all about. Um, the most important detail to look for is the clouds. Okay, we want to look at the clouds, what dynamic tone mapping does to the outline and the, the, and the, and the, and the like the crispness and the, and the white detail of the clouds. And also back in the mountain, the snow on the on the actual mountain um, the difference of the white level of the snow, too. Let's check this out. Okay, so I try to adjust my cell phone camera as much as possible so you can see the difference. All right, so game, user mode, of course, HDR gaming, 90, 95, 13, 60. All right, so dynamic tone mapping, Right now it is off. Okay, now let's look at the clouds when I turn on dynamic tone mapping. Okay, it gets brighter, right? Off. On. Now you probably can't see it too good on the cell phone camera, but let's look at HDIG. Now it dims it a little, but it still retains the brightness of dynamic tone mapping without overdoing it. Dynamic tone mapping on just makes it a lot brighter, yes, but you lose a little bit of the detail in the clouds. HGIG still keeps it brighter, but gives more detail in the clouds, more separation. And then off, you just lose it. It kind of smooths out the picture, so you lose that separation and detail. So right now, HGIG on. Off. Now, let me let me let me fix my camera a little bit now. And go just the point of blooming right there. On. HGIG. Dynamic tone mapping all the way on. Off. On. Got a more a little more brightness in the clouds. HGIG keeps the brightness but gives more detail. So my money is on HGIG over over on. Number one, even if the game is not programmed or designed with HGIG, HGIG just makes it brighter and more detailed without over blooming it. On is just brighter and you get blooming. Off is just soft and a little bit dimmer. So HGIG is a combination of off and on. And that's why it's a winner in my book. Once and for all, 100%, not changing it. It is confirmed. HGIG, HDR Gaming Interest Group is great. I like it a lot. I just like it. You get better whites. There's too much. On is just is just a blowout. On will blow out the uh, the contrast. Then you have to go into the game settings. Then you have to drop the HDR brightness, and that could de that could depend on any game, back and forth, up and down. No, no, no. HGIG universal greatness. I love it. All right, guys. Hope that helped you out. If you have the uh, the OLED C9, maybe B9, and of course the CX and GX of 2020, absolutely use HGIG on every single time. Amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope this puts this nail in the coffin about HGIG and gaming and dynamic tone mapping. Thumbs up from Wrath Cave. HGIG for, for real, for life. It's great. All right, guys, you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Home Theater Rules. Stay home, stay safe. LG OLED, next-gen console gaming, number one. All right, guys, take care. See ya.